Let's talk about the majors. You tweeted the other day that it felt like yesterday. So for people who don't exactly know how unlikely it was that you won a crooked stick in 91, run us through how you even got in the field. Well, I was ninth alternate as a Monday. And um, Ted Grossi put on this great event at Erie, Pennsylvania, so I knew I was going to go there. And um, are you trying to get me drunk? <laughs> Bring about 20 more, baby. We'll get there. Um, um, so I drive up and um, on on Wednesday, and um, I was like probably like second or third alternate at that time. Okay. And when I get in, I got a message in my hotel room saying, you have Nick Price's time. I think it was like 1240 <laughs> Thursday. And, um, you know, never saw the golf course. And, and I always – you know, Nick always says, hey, you got your first major because of Squeaky. And I said, well, you got your four because of, because I had Squeaky. Uh-huh, the caddy, right? And because uh, Nick, Nick Price had never won a, a major, and his wife Sue was having uh, Connor. And so he withdrew, and I uh, got his spot and uh, went on to win the tournament. And the funniest thing about that week was I never saw the golf course. Yep. In two holes, Squeaky says, uh, your 204 uh, hits you a nice eight iron. <laughs> Ridiculous. How do you know that, Squeak? He goes, well, I just know you're two to three clubs longer than my boss, so I'm going with it. <laughs> I hope he told Nick that. <laughs> oh, he, yeah. And then Nick goes on this run. I said, hey, Nick, uh, you know, me and Squeak, usually you win a major with a caddy, uh, you keep him. Yeah. He goes, J.D., I'll kill you. <laughs> and then he goes on to win, you know, went on that rampage of four or five years just awesome. playing great golf and – Nick doesn't hit it anywhere, but, nope. God, his chipping and putting was amazing. And I, for a while, I thought his iron play was incredible, too. Yeah. Uh, so, and did you have – you started really good in that event. Like, what were you doing at those nights? Were you were you trying to not get nervous, not take it – you know, not make it bigger than it was? What do you recall from, like, that whole week? When you drink 35 Miller Lights a day, why do you <laughs> give a shit? I mean, I'm not changing my game plan, baby. Hell no. <laughs> Hey, boxers say they don't have sex before fights. Well, I drink a lot before, I, you know, before one. So I just did what I usually do. I didn't really think much about it. It was such a blur because, you know, guys have been there Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday practicing. Oh, my God, this course is so hard. Yep. It's so long. Oh, yep. God, I'm, you know, and all this. And now it's one of the shortest courses that you'll ever see, you know. It's so um, hard. I've with heard the technology. Like me. Some people like Phil, some like Tiger. There's kind of a divide. Some people think Phil's a phony. Some people think Tiger is, you know kind of mean to all these guys like what relationship do you guys do you have with each of them well i mean we're all so busy i don't have dinner with these guys but when i see them they're very cordial to me and um back in 2005 i was playing memorial and tiger walked by i said what's up bm he goes what the fuck is this? What the fuck? yeah what's up bm and i let him ponder on it for another year see him about six more turns like hey bm what's up man what's happening and uh, finally at the PGA in 09 or whatever, uh, Tiger says, all right, come on, man. What what the hell? What's this BM shit? I said, man, you're Tiger Woods. You're the black messiah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to call you him You go that. on a 10-year roll BM. like you did, man. You are the black messiah. <laughs> Is the story true that one time you say to him, Tiger's about to go to the gym after playing? And you say, Tiger, what are you going to the gym for? And he said, if I had your talent, J.D., I wouldn't have to. Is that true? Yeah, we were sitting at Sherwood uh, Sherwood Oaks in California, that beautiful place that Joe Lewis built. And uh, don't walk it. It's too hard. <laughs> um, and we were doing um, – we were actually doing his event when Target was his sponsor for that. And um, I said, Tiger, come have a drink with us. You know, he's lean and all this. And, of course, I look sexy like I always do. <laughs> and um, But I'm sitting with some guys that, you know – Mark Christopher Chevrolet guys, and they, he had his crew and had some friends and family in there. And, and I want to spend some time with them. They've been great sponsors of mine. Celebrate, celebrating 25 years with Mark Christopher this year. Still one of the longest sponsorships ever on the PGA Tour. Because yep. uh, we treat sponsorships sometimes like guys treat women, and, you know, we kind of move on, yep. you know. But sure. um, actually, I'm speaking for myself on that one. <laughs> I love you, Honor. <laughs> Anna's actually the longest relationship I ever had, 10 years, celebrating this year. So, yeah. You know, but, um, but anyway, so I looked at Tiger. I said, well, first of all, the story was he walks out. He's walking out of the locker. Tiger, come have a drink with us. He's in the slacks. He goes, no, nah, I'm going to hit a few balls. Three hours later, he comes back. 
He's in his gym store. I said, what the hell are you doing now? Come have a drink with us. Well, I'm going to go work out. I said, come have a drink with us. Right. Seriously, you've been out here for nine hours. I've been drinking for nine. At least have one with us. <laughs> so he goes, uh, no, nah, Daly, if I had your talent, I'd be doing just what you're doing. And we got paired the next day. Kicked his ass. <laughs> About the only time I ever kicked his ass, but I did. I shot 65 on him. He goes, you know what? I may have to start drinking. <laughs> Outstanding. So I was reading the Tiger Woods book, the one that came out a couple months ago. There's a story in there that I had never heard. All right. Summer of 89, Tiger's 13. Is He's, this Tiger's book or somebody else? Well, it's a book. It's Tiger. called Tiger Woods. It's the one that came out a couple months ago. Non-authorized, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. He would never. My Lord. Um, all right. So I want to be the writer for Tiger when he comes out with all the women he fucked. I think that'd be beautiful. <laughs> I, I'd buy that book. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, that so would just did you, be awesome. Can you imagine writing that book? <laughs> Woo, baby. Damn it. I'd love that. Huh? Now, when all that... I still look at him and go, Tiger, you're not even close to Big JD here. <laughs> <laughs> but I love the kid. God, and he, yeah, I do. And I hope he wins and wins, and I hope he beat Nicholas's records because you know what? In my job, it'd be great to see two legends like that. It really would. Yeah. It really would. And I, I, I love him. He's a good guy, and, yeah. and he's on the comeback. When all this stuff came out, were you surprised? I was. Everybody was. Yeah. It was hidden. and But you know what? You can only believe half of it. I mean, seriously, come on. Which I, half? I, you know, <laughs> well, I mean, the 127 women, I, I think I only set him up with 20, so it's all right. <laughs> um, but, you know, we have one big circle here. Uh, but No, I'm kidding. I, I think, you know, I don't think it was that many. Right. No. But, hey, his dad, you know, was a Marine. Hit Love the ladies well. as when, well. When Tiger found out that diamond, the real diamond, <laughs> <laughs> boy, God bless him. He got a lot of them diamonds and didn't have to pay for them either. I hear you. Mm. All right, so from this book, it's at Tiger's 13 years old. He's playing in a junior tournament in Texarkana, and he's paired with you on the third day. Is this true? Yeah, you remember this? Eye, it's called the Big Eye Insurance Youth Classic. You know, some of you guys might have played that growing up. Closer. Um, some of you guys might have played the Big Eye Insurance Youth Classic, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, we're, we're and, on a par three. And he's 13 years old? And Do you remember, like, did you get a first impression of him? Oh, it was unbelievable. I mean, <laughs> the guy's almost kicking my ass. Yeah. Um, I was three under par. I shot three under. He shot even par. But we're on this par three. It's like 215 yards, and I pull out a five iron. My HT Max fly. I loved those balls back then. And I hate this five iron. You know, I'm playing the tournament too, right? Oh. All I hear is this <laughs> The rubber bands inside, back in those obaladas, the ball just came apart. Really? And uh, it got it on the front fringe, and it was like in, you know, one, two, or three, four, or five pieces. So, of course, I got caught a rules of fish. I mean, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? And and uh, I think it was Vaughn or somebody came up and says, well, you got to play. And I go, oh, come on. He goes, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So I got to replace yeah, it. Yeah, which of the five would you have to play? Yeah. Yeah, but Tiger said uh, it was the greatest shot he's ever seen. But. That's from a 13-year-old. <laughs> and then they asked, they asked him about five years ago. He said that was the shot he still loved, the most he's ever seen. Because of what you did to the golf ball? Yeah. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, so the story went on here that uh, you ended up beating him by two shots, a 13-year-old Yeah, did he tiger. shoot 71? I, I shot 69. It, so, yeah, I he, trust your memory. I know, he won, I know he won by a lot, and I finished second that week, which I think it was a Hogan tour. I think I made like four grand. <laughs> <laughs> 